Hello class, in this lesson we will continue with the posting of the general journal to the ledger accounts. For this lesson you will need your textbook, your cash book and also your general ledger. Before we continue with this lesson, make sure that you have marked the previous lesson's homework. Topic quiz. Pause the video and take a minute to answer the following questions to see if you understood the previous lesson. Write your answer on a separate paper or page in your exercise book. What three transactions were discussed in the previous lesson? Pause your video now. Interest charged to overdue accounts of debtors, interest charged to overdue accounts of creditors and fixed assets and other expenses bought on credit. To recap, this is a summary of all the transactions we recorded in the general journal. Drawings of goods for personal use, donations of goods or fixed assets, bad dates, interest charged to overdue accounts of debtors, interest charged to overdue accounts of creditors, and purchases of fixed assets and other expenses on credit. We will now look at examples of posting the transactions recorded in the general journal to the ledger accounts. I will use the same examples as in the previous lessons. The great thing about the general journal is that it tells you exactly what you must do, account to debit and account to credit. For the details, you just write the contra account. Example, debit drawings, details, purchases, credit purchases, details, drawings. Debit drawings, details stationery, credit stationery, details drawings. Next examples, donations of goods or assets. Debit donations, details purchases. Credit purchases, details donations. And the next transaction, again, debit donations, details equipment, credit equipment, details donations. Let's now look at examples of posting bad dates. You debit bad dates and the details is the debtor's name, in this case, Jim. Credit Jim's account and the details is bad dates. One more example, debit bad dates, details the debtor's account, in this case, John, and credit John's account, details bad dates. Now let's look at posting of interest charge to overdue accounts of debtors. You debit the debtor's account, where your details is interest received, and you credit interest received, and the details is the debtor's account. One more example, we debit the debtor's account, in this case Sarah, and we, uh, the details is interest received again, and we credit interest received with the details of the debtor's name, Sarah. Interest charged to overdue accounts of creditors. Debit interest paid with the details, the creditor's name, bulk traders, and we credit bulk traders with details interest paid. Again, debit interest paid, details discount traders, the creditor, and credit the creditor with details interest paid. And lastly, purchase of fixed assets and other expenses on credit. You debit the fixed asset, in this case vehicles, and the details is the creditor's name, Arthur World. Credit the creditor, Arthur World, and the details is whatever was bought on credit, vehicles. Again, debit, repairs, the expense that was bought on credit, details the creditor, Jan Repairs, and credit the creditor, Jan Repairs, with details, repairs. Homework for your next lesson, exercise 5.6, page 96. Do only their number one and two. Number one, we record the transactions to the general journal. Take note that the amount for the transaction on the 8th is $2,000. And then number two, post to the relevant ledger accounts. Use the following opening balances when necessary. General ledger, purchases, $3,000. Data's ledger, H. Binger, $18. B. Brooks, $200. H. Birkers, $500. And then in your creditors ledger, all time solutions, $1,200 million. Good luck and stay safe.